Heavily armed Indian troops clad in black have been raiding hotels in Mumbai, trying to free hostages and confront the terrorists who plunge the city into chaos. We won't be able to put a number. The people who were held up, they have all been rescued. Uh, from the Taj Hotel, all those people who were held up there last night in banquet halls, in restaurants, they were all safely evacuated, mostly in the night, some early morning today. But they, there are guests in the rooms. We don't know the numbers here, how many. Still, explosions and gunshots could be heard in the financial district of the sprawling city as a number of gunmen remain at large. The firing took place when there was an encounter on the 18th floor of the Trident Hotel. That's the time the militants were able to make contact with the NSC column. After that, they hold it to a room. The room has been identified. And that's how uh, the firing has been at times intermittent. Sporting firing is going on. Officials are still wary of giving any definitive number of casualties from the attacks that began Wednesday night. But they say at least 119 people were killed and nearly 300 others were wounded. But there are fears that number will grow as police and troops scour the hotels. Even less is known about those claiming responsibility for the attacks, just that it is an Islamic militant group that has not been heard from before. This kind of coordinated attack uh, could not be possible without some kind of a strong network within the area and also within the country. Meantime, officials around the world are offering their support to India as they condemn the violence. This is a horrific uh, incident uh, which has shocked and outraged people around the world. This is the loss of innocent lives, people just going about their daily uh, business who have been caught up in, in a web of terrorism. The U.S. is also offering its support with President Bush calling and promising to help restore order in the nation. Ed Donahue, The Associated Press.